Hey, in early March, the Lord spoke to me. You know what? He speaks to me the first of each month. I get my monthly download like the first day of each month. And I look forward to that time. So when I say early, it's the first day. But um, April 1st, and it was no April Fool's Day, he said, there's a bold generation on the horizon that the bold ones are his true overcomers. He said, the bold ones never fail, they succeed in me. And those who stand in my presence learn to walk in my boldness and never fail. And there's a generation on the horizon that will do just this because their entire life is dedicated to honoring him. Not only do they hear his voice, they obey him. And they're not going to be tempted by sin. He said, oh yes, the evil one, one will of course tempt them. But the true children are overcomers. They will not allow the enemy to tempt them because they will walk in harmony with the Lord at all times and decree his word. Therefore, temptation will not be a part of their life. Um, this is a generation that's going to resist temptation. Currently, the body of Christ struggles with temptation. And I go back to... Um, you know, the, the Lord prayed, um, you know, the disciples are asking him how to pray. And he says, you know, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. You know, he is our daily bread. We need to partake of him daily. Lead us not into temptation. I thought, well, why would the Lord say that? Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. God does not lead us into temptation. The enemy does. But the, the Lord allows you to make decisions for yourself. If you look back with um, Cain and Abel, Cain and Abel both brought a um, sacrifice to the Lord. And God re rejected Cain's. And then he said to Cain, why are you so downtrodden? Why are you angry? You know, do you not know that if you bring an acceptable sacrifice that, you know, I'll receive it? But he said, you know, sin crouches at your door, but you need to rule over it. You need to master it. We need to take our every thought captive and rule over those thoughts. That's where the enemy always comes in and gets us. Everything begins with the thoughts. So what do we do with it? So the enemy, when he comes knocking at, at our door of our mind, what do we do with it? We need to master over it. So are we led into temptation? God doesn't let, lead us there, but he allows us to be tempted we have to rule over. We have to, therefore, choose to follow him. So this generation that's on the horizon, they, they are going to be so steadfast, so in love with the Lord, and they are not going to fall into this temptation. You know, Adam and Eve did. <laughs> We've paid for it ever since. You know, not that we would have done any better. You know, I, I'm sure that we wouldn't have, but, you know, it caused a problem for the rest of mankind because they fell into temptation and of course that was by words you know the devil will always twist words that we have but um, this generation they and it's us it's not just those that are coming up you know we set a pattern for um, for the next generation Bob would always say that his ceiling must be our floor. And I can say like watching my grandchildren, you know, they see what their parents do and they want to copy after them. Well, you know, we are a generation that needs to get our act together and do things right so that the ones coming up follow after us in righteousness. And the, the little ones, you know, those who are alive today, they are walking in the fear and awe of God and they are not going to be tempted with the things that we have because they're not going to, they're going to turn away from sin and follow after God's righteousness. 
they're going to walk in the supernatural power of God. So these are the bold ones. Bob would talk about the children of light. These are the children who will be led by the light of God. So I'll leave you with that this day. They were the bold ones coming forth on the horizon now that we as parents and grandparents, aunts, uncles, pastors, leaders, we need to guide and direct these little people. Okay, some of these little people, they may be new Christians, they might be 80 years old. We are the ones responsible to guide and direct them. Watch as they come forth in power and might, in wisdom and truth, and most importantly in love. Amen. Make sure to tune in to our, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and be blessed. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.